Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Mike. You're watching the Horror Toy Box. Today we're going to be putting together the perfect 78. Alright, horror friends, here he is. I went ahead and assembled him. Uh, this is the Once Customs Blackest Eyes V2 head sculpt. Um, a lot of people favor this head sculpt of Once Customs more than any other of the 78 sculpts, and I certainly agree with that. This sculpt is a really good looking sculpt. It reminds me of uh, the, the Halloween 4 movie poster, which I never understood. The movie is obviously not the, the 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 cover mask, but uh, you know, nonetheless, it looks good. I love that movie, so it definitely resembles that Halloween four movie cover, movie poster. Um, really good looking head sculpt. I just really like the way this one looks. A lot of people favor it. I can see why. Sitting on that, we have uh, underneath all this, there is a banner body. It is spoken to be. The ideal um, 1978 Myers body to use. I certainly, uh, I can agree with it, even though it's something small and simple. I just went out of my way to make this thing the way I wanted it to be. I didn't want to cut no corners. I uh, just wanted to see what the craze is all about, see what people are talking about. Um, yeah, I like the body a lot. I tried the other one, the JX, um, and also the ZC. Uh, this one's definitely preferred for me. Everybody has their own thing. Everybody likes what they like. On top of this body, we have the uh, the newest in cell coveralls. They are from the final run. These things are beautiful. Um, they really do look good. I have I've had uh, C Creations, Ones Customs, Tanellas, and the Uncell, and I honestly can say, like sitting back and looking at all those photos, which I. We'll show at the end so you can get your own thoughts and opinions on this. So stick around for that at the end. I'll uh, show you guys each different setup and I'll, you know, put the words in the bottom so you can tell what you're looking at and you can get your own idea of what you think. But the only quorum I have with these things is the color. Um, uh, they do look bluish in certain lighting, but I really feel like they should be a navy blue. I did go ahead and buy that same dye that um dean knight had bought and i just don't think i'm gonna do it i don't want to take any chances i'm not going to go into detail but i did go through quite a bit getting these coveralls this is not the first set um in his hand there is a furgo knife this is an older one super nice finish i really like the way these look in my opinion that one I do agree with. I haven't seen a better knife yet. I did order a second one of these. I might part with this one, but I don't think so. Uh, the knife I do agree with. I think I would stick with them overall. I have had Ones, Customs, Sea Creations, Full Metal Customs, and this Virgo. In my opinion, I like the Virgo the most, especially the newer ones with the wood grain handle. It looks super nice. This is a black handle. It's a one of a kind he did about five years ago. I confirmed that with him. Uh, that, I wasn't really including that in the video, just kind of have it there for effect, but that is the Kane's Crypt 78 pumpkin on top of a little tea light, a little base. Really love that pumpkin. Really glad to have it. That's something that I'll always keep around. On top, we have, this is actually a Rob Zombie Halloween 1 stand my buddy Matt made for me. If you guys want any stands made, he kills it. He makes great stands. As you guys see on my past videos, the Jason, the Myers. He's done a few, like four or five for me so far. They're always great. Um, this is the stand that I haven't sit on. You guys have seen that before, the Finn Lake art. I just put him on this so the porch does not block uh, the coveralls at all. Um... All right, let's, the, at the bottom of this guy, we have the standard um, green and black 
platoon boots that we all know. Yep, nothing special there. I actually bought these and they were shiny, shiny, shiny. So somebody gave me the tip on how to weather them. So that's what I did. Pretty simple. I weathered two pairs of these things. I think they turned out well. They were like super shiny when I first got them. Wasn't a fan of that. Um, let's take a better look at this sculpt. I know you guys have seen it before. Oh, a little bit of sticking. Sticking with the base, uh, yeah, I think it's just great, great looking sculpt overall. Uh, I hear a lot of people, I hear a lot of craze about the mad bug. You know, everybody's entitled to their opinion, so I will give mine. I am not, I am seriously not a fan of that thing. Uh, not to, it just doesn't do it for me. It just doesn't capture that look. I feel like it looks really off. And I feel like it was really just hyped up. That's just my opinion, but the, the mad bug's just not for me. You know, everybody likes what they like. I'm glad to see people enjoying anything, no matter what it is. So if you like it, get it, enjoy it. The mad bug's just not for me. I also have a uh, All Hallows sculpt coming. Um, that's gonna go on top of this thing as well. I'll have both of these head sculpts, you know, so I can switch it out, splice it up a little. Um, the All Hallows one, I'm really looking forward to that. In my opinion, man, that thing deserves more recognition than it gets. It is such an accurate looking sculpt. Uh, it's being done by Pete's, Pete's Paintworks. I have some special requests with it. Can't wait to show you guys. Uh, if I'm as pleased as I expect, and I'm sure I will be, you will be getting a review of that sculpt. I've seen pictures of it, it looks sick. I'll actually throw a picture of that at the end too, along with the pictures of the other coveralls that I've had in the past, other setups for 78. And I'll give you guys some better shots of this guy as well. Um, but yeah, this thing is sick, highly recommend it. This is the Blackest Eyes V2. Head sculpt by Once Customs, really great head sculpt. If you ever debate on getting a Once Customs head sculpt, this is the best one, my opinion. A lot of people agree with that. You can sell coveralls if you can get a pair without hassle. Uh, definitely recommend those. I honestly, I, I really, I, yeah, they're great. They really look good. Once Customs coveralls are also very good. All of them are really, but they're my two preferred. The Unicells look really good. Wish they were a little navy, but they're, I wish they were navy blue. But uh, the gray's good too. Castle says they're gray. That's good enough for me. Nick Castle says it. I mean, I know he's old, but I still I still believe him. So we got yep. Once Customs Black Size V2 head. You can sell coveralls. Bruce Banner body. That is a, a Hot Toys body. You buy the whole figure if you can't find it. That's what I did. Bought the whole figure for about one hundred eighty dollars. Took the body off. Sold everything in ten minutes. Uh, for a hundred bucks without the body. So, you know, just $80 for the body. In my opinion, it's worth it. I really didn't want to cut no corners on this. Again, with the Fergo knife, uh, that is a Lampson knife, super nice knife. And uh, the platoon boots, black and green, a little bit of the weathering, super easy to do. If you ever want to know how to, just hit me up. I'll show you. Stand for my buddy, Matt. If you guys, uh, ever looking looking for one of them let me know I'll, i'm sure he's okay with me giving out his info so got to find out exactly what he wants me to do and get you hooked up cane script pumpkin t-stand this thing is sick uh i did go through a hassle to get it but it's worth it in the end this is my final 78 i am not chasing anymore i've went through four this is the last one appreciate you guys being here Keep an eye out, I got a couple more videos in the works, in the making. Just waiting on one part uh, and one figure to get those videos rolling. Check us out, August 16th through 18th. I'm pretty sure that's the right date. But uh, yeah, it's that weekend in uh, Cherry Hill, New Jersey, 2019. We will be vending. We will have a lot of cool stuff. Uh, we're, we've been saving a lot of goodies for this. So come check us out, Monster Mania Cherry Hill. August 16th through 18th. 
Cherry Hill, New Jersey, 2019. The Fun House Emporium. Appreciate you guys for being here. Keep an eye out. Thank you. Have a good one.